not gonna talk about any BH cosmetic product in this video, but this Swedish word of the day might make you realize why Swedes have a little bit of a different take on the brand BH Cosmetics. Because bra is in Swedish BH. BH. So a lot of the times I think about them as a bra brand that sells bras. So today I am going to talk about my favorites and fails that I have tried throughout this month. I have gotten so many new products and I have actually some of the new products that are favorites, but I haven't been able to really try them out, especially when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. So I don't have a lot of favorites in this video. It might come a little bit more later on because I need to try them a bit more. But first and foremost, I did film this look. I actually used the Morphe Pride palette. It's so beautiful. Look at this. It's a beautiful, beautiful rainbow palette. I didn't do like a review, but I did do like a um, get ready with me first impression sort of thing where I just talked and did my makeup a little bit. So yeah, definitely check out for that. I think that that video is gonna come after this. But yeah, okay, let's just hop into my favorites this month. And I'm gonna start off with my favorites and then we're gonna work our way to the fails. So the first product I wanted to talk about is actually this product from Formula 10.0.6. This is their Be Berry Sassy Exfoliator. I have complained a little bit about my skin having uh, these sort of clogged pores and I've been trying face masks. I've been trying to be a little bit extra when I exfoliate my skin. And I exfoliate my skin with chemical peels because a lot of people says that things that has like seeds and stuff in them are pretty harsh on your skin. And it got to the point where I had so many clogged pores right here. It didn't matter what I did. I just kind of had them there. They were just sitting. And I know that a lot of you guys said that you couldn't see them, but it really just bothered me. So. I decided to pick this one up and I do not regret it. This has worked wonders for my skin. It smells absolutely incredible and it is really, really good. Like I gave this to my boyfriend because he had burned his skin when he was out um, on the ocean, he was kind of sailing. A few days after that, he started flaking right here and I just gave this to him and I said exfoliate a little bit, which he did and everything came just right off. So I really, really love that one and I definitely recommend it. So the next product I'm gonna talk about is such a, like, I, I don't even get it myself how this product works, but it's just fantastic. I got a package from one of you guys. So one of my lovely subscribers sent me a package and she included this one from Flower Beauty. This is their Shimmer and Strobe Highlight Palette. And I have heard a lot of people talk about this one. I've heard Andrea Mattigliano, Nicole Renee Cutler, but um, Flower Beauty has never really been available for us in Sweden, but it has come to Superdrug. So I was actually planning on picking this one up, but she kind of beat me to it. And I'm so happy because the minute I put this on my skin, I was like, I'm done. I put this on my skin and instantly I put it up in my bullet journal as a favorite because it was that good. Sometimes you just know. So I'm just gonna show you, I did swatch it right here. I'm just gonna boop. Do you see that? It's so blinding and absolutely beautiful. You don't need a lot. So if you are one of those people that loves a sort of subtle shimmer or a subtle highlight, I would not pick this one up. But if you can order from Superdrug, I would definitely include this one because, oh my god, it's absolutely fantastic. I think that this is stunning. I mainly use this shade because it kind of works best on my skin tone and it's kind of my personal preference, but all of the shades are absolutely incredible. So next up, I have some glitter liners. I've been obsessed with that. I cannot stop purchasing it. So the first two that I found was from the brand W7 and the ones I bought looks like this. We have like a yellowy gold and then we have this beautiful iridescent shade that is sort of like the dupe for the Urban Decay Distortion, which I'm all about. Like this shade is the only one I've used. I haven't used this one yet, but they're just so freaking beautiful and 
really really high quality i did to use it right up here and it's just this beautiful beautiful glow and the other two that i picked up was from the brand collection i've heard so many people compare this to the urban decay ones as well and they are phenomenal i've used them in one of my makeup tutorials i can't remember which one but it's just so beautiful on the eyes like i definitely recommend these these are like no money at all and the same with the w7 one so i just wanted to give you some options because my, personally myself i don't like to spend a lot of money on glitter liners i don't like that at all so i mainly purchase drugstore ones so the next product is a high-end product and this is actually a bronzer i've been on a bronzer kick i don't need to purchase a single bronzer or another bronzer again but I just couldn't resist this one, so I did pick it up. I remember when I talked about this in one of my Will I Buy It videos, and I was just stunned over the print in this. Like, it's a beautiful, beautiful peacock right here. The print is really, I would say, like, it reminds me a little bit about my great-grandmother. Or is it my great-great-grandmother? It's my mother's mother mother. So it's not my grandma, but it's my great-grandma. And did you know that my great-grandfather is still alive so cool and um, anyway this is the Too Faced natural lust bronzer and then it looks like this it has a little peacock inside this i used in a uh, makeup video as well and you will not like this one if you are darker than me because it will not show up on you this is a very very subtle bronzer if i swatch it right now you won't be able to see that much so i don't think that you should go ahead and purchase this if you are darker than me and if you do go to the store and swatch it but what i really like about it is the fact that this shade right here which is in the form of the peacock is a little bit more of that golden shade so it does remind me a little bit of the <sighs> makeup revolution bronzer the shimmer bronzer that i've talked about so so much so you could definitely go ahead and pick that one up instead if you want to i am in love with this and i think a lot of it has to do with the packaging like the formula is great but it's sort of the product that you kind of need to swirl and be a little bit more heavy-handed with but I think a lot of it has to do with the packaging. So I did a little video. I don't know if that is up either. <laughs> I have no clue. But I did get sent from another subscriber the Gingerbread Spice Palette along with a lot of different things. So she actually sent this to me because she did a little declutter herself and she um, hadn't really used it that much. So she sent it my way. And I have to say that this is so beautiful. I'm not gonna sit here and say too much about it just because of the fact that it's no longer available. You cannot go out and purchase it and I don't wanna rub it in your face. But I just have to say like this shade Hot Toddy is life changing. It is sort of that pink red, but it has a shift of orange as well. It's just so majestic and it's so beautiful. I think I did the same look for an entire week. Um, only using this one, this one, this one, and then some of the lighter shades. But my favorites are this little nine pans right here. And then I don't think I'll use these ones as much. Maybe some of the mattes, but just the shimmers aren't really my cup of tea. But these ones are just phenomenal, so I've been having so much fun with this palette, and I'm so thankful. So let's discuss some hair products. Um, the first thing that I want to mention is my flaxseed gel. I do it myself. I don't have it right here with me because I actually ran out the last time I took a shower. So the next time I take a shower or the next time I shower my hair anyway, I need to do some new gel. And if you don't know how to do it, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have done a video on how to do it, and then like how to use it and so on. But gels for my hair is just amazing. And I've always been a little bit like, I don't really know how it works, and I haven't really gotten the, um, full gist of it you know but now I have started to use it lastly so I use the gel to kind of capture all of the moisture in my hair and then I let it dry and it gives the hair like it just dries up and becomes very very harsh but then I scrunch out the crunch the other product is this bonnet this bonnet has been life-changing I've used a hairnet before that I showed you guys that is um that comes with wigs and such. I did like my hairnet. I thought that it was fabulous, but it kind of just scrunched or 
press the curls in a pattern that wasn't really their natural form and with this bonnet it doesn't really do that i think that you could go ahead and purchase this if you have any type of hair just because it kind of doesn't give you frizz if you have weaves or whatever you have like it's really really comfortable i just kind of put it on have all my hair in it and then i sleep with it and i wake up my hair is beautiful and no frizz well i have naturally frizzy hair but i have less frizz anyway with it and then my absolute baby this is the denman brush i have heard so many curly people talk about this and i felt like you know it's a brush so i took out one of the brushes that i have in my collection i started using that instead and i did use a comb and everything but it has nothing compared to this because this has such a hold to it it is something about like this material right here mine is used so it does look a little bit greasy but you can take this out as you can see right there so you can go ahead and cleanse it um, but what I love about this is that if you are trying to if you are a person that transitions or if you have a little bit of a harder time uh, getting defined curls then I would definitely recommend this what I do is that I take a section and I make sure to take a section and kind of drag it along like this when it's wet so i do it after the shower and then i let go but i twist a little bit and then i kind of scrunch it up and it makes your hair um almost finger coiled but it takes no time so if you have never finger coiled your hair when i do it it takes around an hour and a lot of the times I don't have time for it or I just don't feel like doing it. So doing it with this one, it takes maybe around 10 minutes to do your entire hair and it's life changing. It's so good. I will recommend this to anyone that has curly hair, but don't use it to uh, brush out your hair because it's not a good detangling brush. Use your fingers if you can instead. So the next product I'm going to talk about is actually a favorite and a fail and i'll get to it why but it's the colourpop jelly matte shadows i have three of them this is the one that i've used the least which is in the shade short circuit circuit uh, circuit i don't know but it looks like this it's sort of like this bronzy shade like this it's a shade that kind of surprised me because <clears throat> this is sort of the shades that i least used uh, I never use bronzy shades like this, like this brownish red on my eyes, but I have actually used this a couple of times and I think that it's really, really beautiful. And I love how easy the ColourPop Jelly Matte shadows are because you kind of just dip your finger in it. I usually take my finger on the cap and then I apply it with my finger. And I love that about them, that they are so easy and they take no time at all. So if you wake up, have no time, just put a little shade in your crease and then take this on the lid and then you can just run out the door so so easy it works so quick and it lasts the entire day that was something that i was a little bit scared of or that it would crease doesn't crease i have wrinkly eyelids not wrinkly but you know hooded eyes so i do have natural creases in my eye and it doesn't crease anyway which is fantastic but why it comes to a fail is because i haven't had these for a long time i have closed them i have um you know use them properly but they have kind of dried up and they aren't the same consistency as they were so i don't really know how to revive them i did buy one of these like sort of revivers from uh revolution pro i think it is a lot of people have uh, recommended me to purchase the inglot one the duraline i think it's called but England has a little bit of a weird cruelty free status so I kind of have backed away from the brand a little bit and I'm taking a pause to see whatever happens because if you go and search like England cruelty free everyone is going to say different things so I did back down a little bit from the brand and I didn't want to purchase it so I actually last night ordered the Revolution Pro one so hopefully that can work. My other fail is this collection sheer loose powder. I did use this in a video and it said that it is translucent but it said that it's like two and then translucent so i don't know if i bought the deeper shade or um if i just got the wrong shade but you can see right here that it does have some color to it i don't know like i think that it's it really deepened up my concealer it's nothing wrong with the actual formula because it did look pretty good but it just deepened it up so i don't really want to use it because i don't want to use a powder that makes my concealer darker so 
Um, I'm gonna see if one of my friends want this, otherwise, I, I don't know. But she's a little bit more tan than me, and I don't think that she wants it, because she recently just got like five powders from me, so we'll see. My biggest fail is such a heartbreak to me. Um, I've raved about this. This is the Revolution Gold Elixir Rose Hip Seed Oil. I loved and adore this one. I am someone that loves an oil. And you can see that I've used half of it. I don't know if you can see, but I am down to the half right here. But I did have a lot of breakouts and one of my subscribers actually said that there is a few people that's actually allergic to rosehip oil. So it might be that one that's breaking you out. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna see. I had like these really, really big sore um, pimples and they were kind of just they were not like normal pimples like when you squeeze them it's fine like they are gone I can have like white heads right here that I can just scratch off but these were hurting me and I couldn't put any makeup on because they were kind of infected and then I got like two big um, super large pimples right here that you know you can't squeeze and I got some right here as well it was just a mess it has started to settle down because I haven't used this in two weeks and I have gotten no more pimples I had a little one when I woke up like right here but it was no biggie this is going out from my collection because I apparently cannot use it because my skin hates it so I'm so sad about that but it is the way it is. So that was all of my monthly favorites and fails. Definitely let me know what products you have been loving and hating. I love to hear from you guys, whether it's uh, cruelty-free products or not. Just tell me what you have been loving the most. Maybe someone else can get re recommendations or if you don't like something, maybe someone else can see that and be like, oh, Okay, staying away from that one. So definitely let me know. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you didn't like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.